I could talk to you hours about the history of Badway Mowers. Our company, our brand really took off when we realized there was a void of zero-turn mowers in the residential market. Most zero-turns were uh, commercially used, so we advertised, marketed uh, to the homeowner. And uh, so how do we do this? We make something cool, something that, that is rugged, something that's, that uh, lasts a lifetime, and that you can be proud of, something you can pull in your garage right next to your Harley Davidson, admire them equally. Next thing you know, we're one of the largest zero-turn manufacturers in the world. We are the best because we control the quality of our parts. And it's very important to us. We do everything in-house that we can. It's absolutely possible. We uh, cut it, we bend it, we weld it, we assemble it. We even ship it in our own customized trucks. If I were to describe the brand of Badwin Mowers, I would just simply put it as this. It's the last mower you'll ever buy. Heck, I saw one today driving through town. Still going. My first mowers we ever built. I think that's what separates us from the competition. It makes us different. How did I learn about blinking in-house? Had a rep stop by one of our booths at a lawn and garden show. I had no clue. I cut the link line? I didn't even know what that was. So after some research on the cut the link lines, I can only imagine the possibilities of putting that kind of process in here at Bad Boy and creating more efficiency to meet our demand for our machines and possibly even outsource some of the overproduction we would have this, with this type of capabilities. You know, we've been buying blanks for years. Um, the vendor we use have been great to work with, uh, on-time blanks. There was really no reason to switch. To bring that process in-house meant building a building, hiring personnel, finding a mill that produces a quality of steel for our product it's a question we had to figure out. We were going to bring this process in-house. We had to invest in the best equipment possible. After some research online, it appeared that Co had a great product. I reached out to them. We had a conversation about their product and their processes. Hunter was great to deal with. Uh, he really educated me on the steps that would ha happen next, how to move forward. He actually set up a couple plant tours for us. After visiting the Ford factory with Hunter, visiting with their staff and their personnel and their maintenance folks and how the cold press worked. And basically they were gonna move away from all their other presses and go to coal lines, cut to link lines. That said a lot to me. Uh, and basically I walked out of that plant thinking that cold press has the best cut to link line money can buy. It was that simple. Bringing in the co cut to link line, it just made sense. It's only pennies per pound that we're saving, but in the end, pennies make dollars. How will this benefit our customers? It's pretty simple. It will help us to continue to deliver the best mower, the best price, period. Our expectations for the co-line is to make us more efficient and meet and exceed our demands for blanks. Working with Co actually reminds me of working with our guys here at Bad Boy and the way we do things here and they laugh and have fun and cut up and uh, just look like they enjoy life and their jobs. Uh, truly uh, great folks to work with.